climatic zones of the earth the sun is the main source of heat on earth the amount of heat received from the sun is maximum at the equator decreasing as we move away from the equator and towards the poles this has led to the formation of three distinct heat zones on earth the three heat zones of the earth the torrid zone the temperate zone the frigid zone the torrid zone the torrid zone lies between the tropic of cancer 23 and a half degree north and the tropic of capricorn 23 and a half degree south the equator runs through the center of this zone since the rays of the sun fall vertically on a small area in this zone it is the hottest part of the earth the areas in the torrid zone which are near the equator are the equatorial regions the areas in the torrid zone which are near the two tropics are the tropical regions the equatorial regions receive rain every day this region has no winter most of the world's deserts are in this region the hot and wet equatorial regions have evergreen forests these are forests that have a great variety of trees that grow in several layers the areas which get heavy rains during summer have deciduous forests of trees that shed their leaves during dry season the upland areas have different vegetation mostly in the form of grasslands the deserts have thorn forests more than half of all the species of animals birds fish and insects in the world are found in this region the great apes many reptiles and birds live in the equatorial forests the tropical grasslands of africa are home to zebras giraffes lions leopards and a variety of deer camels and smaller animals inhabit the deserts the temperate zone the north temperate zone lies between the tropic of cancer 23 and a half degree north and the arctic circle 66 and a half degree north the south temperate zone lies between the tropic of capricorn 23 and a half degree south and the antarctic circle 66 and a half degree south these zones have a mild temperature they are not as hot as the torrid zone and also not as cold as the frigid zone the areas in this zone which are nearer the equator are warmer than the areas nearer the arctic or antarctic circle 66 and a half degree north or south this zone has four distinct seasons and winters are cold the vegetation here varies according to temperature and rainfall where there is little rains there are grasslands prairies or steppes some areas in this zone like the gobi desert have desert vegetation the wetter regions in this zone have coniferous forests with tall straight evergreen trees with needle like leaves some of the regions near the mediterranean sea have mediterranean vegetation of deciduous trees the rest of the zone has mixed forests giant pandas grizzly bears llamas wolves kangaroos koalas wallabies and migratory birds abound in this zone the frigid zone the north frigid zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole 90 degree north the south frigid zone lies between the antarctic circle and the south pole 90 degree south This zone is the coldest region on earth. The polar regions remain frozen for most of the year. The winter here is very long and severe. The poles have 6 months of continuous darkness in winter. In summer there is continuous light for weeks together. Small trees, bushes and berries grow in this region. mosses and lichen grow in the tundra region penguins polar bears reindeer arctic hares 
seals, whales and walruses are found in this zone. Climatic Zones of India India is a large country with different geographical features. So all parts of the country do not have the same climate. India's climate is mainly of two kinds, tropical and subtropical. The monsoon winds are a major feature of the climate of India. These are the six climatic zones in India. Highland climate Humid subtropical climate, arid dry climate, semi arid semi dry climate, tropical wet and dry climate, tropical wet climate, highland climate. This climate can be found in the high altitude regions of India. This zone has cool summers, little monsoon rains and very cold winters. Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh are in this zone. Humid subtropical climate. This zone has hot summers. The monsoons in the eastern parts of this zone are heavier than in the western parts. The winters are cool. The northern plains are in this zone. Arid, dry climate. This zone has hot summers. During monsoons, this zone receives very little or no rain. The winters are cold. The northwestern states of India, Rajasthan and Gujarat are a part of this zone. Semi-arid, semi-dry climate. This zone has hot summers. During monsoons, this zone receives a little more rain than the arid region. The winters are cool. This zone flanks the arid zone. Parts of northwestern Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh have this kind of climate. Tropical wet and dry climate. This zone has hot summers and it gets plenty of rain during the monsoons. The winters are dry and a little less cold than other zones. Almost the entire east coast of India and parts of the west coast are in this zone. The southeastern coast of India which lies in this zone has a winter monsoon. Maharashtra Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal and Chhattisgarh have this type of climate. Tropical wet climate. This zone has hot summers. It gets heavy rain during the monsoons. The winters are not cold. Kerala, Lakshadweep and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie in this zone.